And he charged to them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged to them, so much the more a great deal they published it. Is it plausible that Jesus, understanding the nature of man, told people not to speak about his works because he actually wanted word of them to spread more? Whatever the case, this can remind us all to watch our words. The world loves to gossip. We can expect everything we tell another person to be retold, often differently, somewhere else. Trust not in a friend. Put not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of your mouth from her that lies in your bosom. For the son dishonors the father. The daughter rises up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is not wrong to ask a man for help or advice. Just ask God first and be patient in waiting for his answer. Create isolation daily. Seek wisdom from God. Desire righteousness. Trust him and read his word. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it will eat the fruit thereof. This verse is extremely powerful and true. We can literally manifest things with our words. This is not New Age doctrine. Many of the truths dabbled within New Age doctrine are rooted in the Bible. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have mistakenly manifested things, often undesirable things, through my words. I say all this not to promote paranoia, but mindfulness. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man works not the righteousness of God. Do you see a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. Even a fool, when he holds his peace, is counted wise, and he that shuts his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. I encourage you all to make time every day to both pray out loud and speak positive affirmations. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and opened to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession, for we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, that passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah.